26-year-old Hawa Ali Aibura Awanle recounts when her parents gave her away to a man she describes as elderly to be his wife. She was only 13 years old then. Awanle was forced to stop school. Uh, my mom introduced me to a man yeah, older than, twice older than me as my husband or future husband. And um, that was very um, uh, depressing at that very age because that's when um, you are very naive. She escaped from the man's home with the help of some sympathetic family members. Today, Awanle is taking on child and forced marriages through art. She's telling the stories of victims like her through paintings and exhibiting them in public spaces. One that focus on the past and the other that focus on the future. So the painting behind me focus on the future of these victims. Um, so I paint my women in suits. So suits represent freedom. A March 2023 survey by Africa Education Watch shows that nearly one quarter of girls between the age of 12 and 18 in Ghana have been married off or are in some kind of consensual union. Women's rights advocates say this is because of cultural norms that see young women as subordinate to men. The high cost of living, they say, is also forcing girls into marriage. Then there's the issue of economic insecurity. So where families do not have their financial resources, because girls are relegated, they usually would give up a girl, place her at risk of marriage to ease up the financial burden of the family. Ghanaian state authorities say the government has established a national goal of eliminating child marriage by 2027, in part by encouraging girls to remain in school even if they become pregnant. In the meantime, artists like Awanle hope that their work will convince Ghanaian families to postpone marriage for their daughters until the girls are grown up. Victoria Amunga for VOA News, Accra, Ghana.